all the differences should be multiplied with 100 divided by your first answer. This is called your comparative balance sheet. I said it was 2 lakh, now it is 5 lakh. There is an increase of 3 lakh. For that, the percentage is 150. Just you have to write it in words. Non-current liability under that long-term loans. Current liability under the trade. This kind of bifurcation you have. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here. Lecturing with your strong first grade college, the temple of excellence. Now we are discussing your unit 4 and session 4. In the unit 4, session 4, we are discussing topic called your financial statement analysis. What is financial statement analysis? You know what is financial statement? All your profit and loss account balance sheet, we call it as financial statement. What is analysis? You have to analyze. You have to compare with your previous year balance sheet. You have to compare. What is the last year profit? What is the this year profit? What is the last year your asset? What is the current year asset? Is there any increases or any decreases? All these things you have to analyze. And you have to say that what is the reason for these changes? This is called financial statement analysis. Now, so the following are the balance sheet of Alpha Limited as at March 31st, 2016 and 2017. We have all the liabilities and we have all the assets. Now just we are doing comparative balance sheet. Your equity liability, you have equity share capital, reserve, long term, current liability. These are the liabilities we have. In the assets we have your fixed asset and non-current asset and current asset. These are the information we have in your information. You are required to prepare what comparative balance sheet. Just you have to compare. Now, comparative balance sheet as at 31st March 2016 and 17. Two years balance sheet you have to take. Whatever the liabilities are there, we have written all the liabilities. Last year it was 2 lakh. This year it is 4 lakh. What is the difference? 2 minus 4, the difference is 2 lakh, 1 lakh and 1 lakh 50, there is a 50,000, 2 lakh and 3 lakh, there is 1 lakh, 120, 170, there is 50,000, there is a variation. Even for total also, it was 10 lakh 20, 6 lakh 20, now it is 10 lakh 20, there is an increase of 4 lakh. This we call it as increase or decrease. If it is a decrease, write it in negative value in the bracket or with minus sign. Now, percentage. How to calculate this percentage? You take this 2 lakh, your increase or decrease value, multiply with 100 divided by your first answer, 2 lakh. Your answer is how much? 100%. We'll go to second one. 1 lakh minus 1 lakh 50, your answer is 50,000. Remember, don't minus from the first year to second year. Always minus from the recent year to the previous year. 1 lakh 50 minus 1 lakh, it is 50,000. 50,000 multiply with 100. Divide by what? 1 lakh. You will get 50%. All the differences should be multiplied with 100. Divided by your first answer. This is called your comparative balance sheet. Similarly, your assets also, 2 lakh and 5 lakh, the difference is 3 lakh, 1, 1 1.5, 1.25, 25, 65 minus 70, it is 5, 2 lakh 55 minus 3 lakh 25, it is 70. Just we are finding difference. Once the difference is found out, 3 lakh into 100 divided by your first one, 2 lakh, you will get 150%, 25%, 7.69%, 27.45%. .7 this is not a total of percentage. Remember, that is very important. Every student does the same mistake actually. This is not a total of your percentage. This has to be calculated. 6 lakh and 10 lakh 20 difference is how much? 4 lakh into 100 divided by first column, 6 lakh 20,000. 
you will get 64.52 percent hope you are clear with this this is called comparative balance sheet but remember you may feel that side is very easy they have given balance sheet just find a difference calculate percentage but remember they don't give you with the heading equity under this what will come remember there is a format actually under equity and liability you will get shareholders fund equity capital reserve and surplus under non current liability you will get all the long term loans secured loans under the current liability you will get i have given you the format under current liability you will get all the creditors bills payable all the outstanding short term loans unsecured loans all comes under bank overdraft all comes under current liability what will come under non current liability your long term loans secured loans comes under non current liability there are three categories are there category 1 category 2 category 3 if you want to write down you can write down under equity and liability what will come equity share capital preference share capital reserves profit surplus these five things comes under equity and liability again i'll repeat equity share capital preference share capital reserve profit surplus these five things comes under equity and liability what will come under non current liability you should be you should write in the format only you cannot mess up this is first below that second below that third below that what will come under non current liability all the secured loans all the long term loans all the debentures comes under non current liability again i'll repeat secured long term debentures comes under non current what comes under current liability already i told you all the creditors bills payable outstanding liabilities all the provisions bank overdraft short term loans these things comes under current liability now come to asset side asset side there are only two things one is asset and non current asset second one is current asset under fixed and non current asset you will get all the land building machinery furniture goodwill patent copyright investment advances deposit all comes under your fixed and non current asset under current asset what will come under current asset what will come is debtors bills receivable cash bank balance prepaid expenses all this comes under closing stock inventory comes under your current asset hope you are clear if you know this format you will get 10 or 15 marks out of as per your question paper sometimes they will ask you for 10 marks sometimes it will be for 15 and one more major things remember they give you balance sheet they give you balance sheet once the balance sheet is given they have given liability they have given asset also they will ask you to prepare you are required to prepare comparative balance sheet if they ask you to prepare in case with observations with interpretation what is the interpretation or observation it is a our reasons very simple you have to write like asset asset it was 2 lakh now it is 5 lakh there is a increase of 3 lakh for that the percentage is 150 just you have to write it in words and current asset it was 2 lakh 55000 just in the words you have to write it was 2 lakh 55000 in 2016 and increased increased to 3 lakh 25000 in 2017 percentage is 27.45 percent this much only your interpretation total of current asset difference total of current liability difference total of shareholders fund difference that you have to highlight and write it in four to five points that is only called as interpretation explanation hope you are clear yes now 
problem number four. You are done with problem number three. You understood what is balance sheet, what is the format, what is the interpretation also. Same thing, we'll go with problem number four. From the following balance sheet of Indian Industries Limited, prepare common size balance sheet. In this, you already learned what is comparative. Now we are doing common size. Common size means they have given, see, share capital reserve. This goes under shareholders fund. Long-term loans, non-current liability, trade payable, current liability. See, three categories over. Building comes under fixed asset. Plant, fixed. Inventory, current asset. Cash, current asset. These over two categories are done. What is a common size? We are not doing comparative. We are not comparing. What is common? Like this will be called as 100%. This will be called as 100%. This will be called as 100%. And this will be called as 100%. Now, Indian Industry Limited Common Sales Balance Sheet. See, they have done bifurcation, equity and liability. Under this shareholder fund, share capital, reserve and surplus. Non-current liability. Under that, long-term loans. Current liability. Under the trade. This kind of bifurcation you have to do. See how the question is given. How is your answer? They have done bifurcation. Now, so write all the information 2016, 2017. Once if it is written, don't compare. You have to see the total. 8 lakh. Now, 2 lakh into 100 divided by 8 lakh. 1 lakh into 100 divided by 8 lakh. 2 lakh into 100 divided by 8 lakh. 3 lakh into 100 divided by 8 lakh. This much only you are supposed to do. If you do all this calculation, this will be your answer. Okay. The total is always 100%. Now, Come to 2017, 2 lakh 50,000 into 100 divided by what? Yes, divided by 9 lakh. Similarly, you have to do all the calculation. If you do this calculation, your answer will be this much. Hope you are clear with the common size. You learned what is comparative. You learned what is common size. Here also same procedure. In the question, if they ask that, prepare common sense balance sheet with interpretation. Simple. Down, interpretation. Below that, what you have to, what you are supposed to write? Your share capital in 2016, it was 2 lakh. In 2017, it is 2 lakh 50 thousand. There is a change in percentage of around 25% for 2016 and 27.78 for 2017. You are not comparing, you are writing. What is the percentage you have compared to your overall total? Hope you are clear. This is what your common size balance sheet. This is all about your liability. Now come to your asset. In the asset, non-current or fixed asset like tangible, building, plant, current asset, inventory, cash, equivalents. So write all the assets, percentage. How did you calculate percentage into 100 divided by 8 lakh into 100 divided by 8 lakh into 100 divided by 8 lakh into 100 divided by 8 lakh. Similarly, how to calculate second one? Multiply with 100 divided by 9 lakh. This is what you are supposed to do in common size. Easiest one, comparative common size. Never skip this topic. Why? Because easy to score marks only in comparative common size and your trend percentage. Trend percentage usually they don't ask. Always they go with common sense and comparative. Now, your next one from the following information, prepare common sense statement. See, they are not asking you to prepare common sense balance sheet. They are asking you to prepare what? Common sense statement. Revenue from operation, other income, total revenue, cost of material, employee benefit, finance expenses, other expenses, total expenses, income tax, net profit. These are the informations are there. Now come out from balance sheet. Now we are not doing balance sheet. We are doing income statement. Now, 
net revenue plus other income what is the total this is called your total income minus cost of material consumed employee benefit financial expenses other expenses if you minus every total all this you will get 36000 60 minus 36000 you will get your profit before taxation minus 4000 then you will get your net profit hope you are clear yes i'll show you the calculation see 60000 plus 300 60300 add all the expenses 36000 60,300 minus 36,000, your answer is how much? 24,200. How come you got this one? See, 60,300 minus 36,000, you will get 24,300. From that, you minus the tax portion. Minus tax, 20,300 is your answer. Similarly, you do it for the second one also, 2017. 86 plus 400 total revenue minus all the expenses 40,000 the 86 minus 40,000 your answer is 46,400 minus 6,000 your answer is 40,400 hope you are clear yes 40,400 is your answer now how to calculate percentage in the comparative you compared both in the common size you have taken the total but in this where is the total? Can you find anywhere total, final total? No. Always remember, your revenue is the base. That is only your total. Hope you are clear. In the income statement, your revenue will be called as 100%. What is the value of revenue? 60,000. Everything. 300 into 100 divided by 60,000. 60,300 into 100 divided by 60,000, 18,000 into 100, divided by 60,000. Everything is calculated on the basis of revenue. Revenue means what? Sales. Everything multiplied with 100, divided by what? Yes, divided by 60,000. That is the procedure you have to follow everything multiply with 100 divide by for second one 86000 because 86000 is called as revenue this is what you are supposed to learn you learn what is comparative what is common size and one more is statement you learn the statement also balance sheet also you learn statement also you learn i'll go back to all the previous slides so that you can take screenshot financial statement analysis First one, comparative balance sheet, solution part, common size balance sheet, solution part, common size balance sheet, solution. So this is what your financial statement analysis, how to analyze. You learned how to analyze your financial statement as well as financial balance sheet. In the next class, we'll meet with the new topic.